Hello, everyone. I'm going to give you a very quick demo of uh, the orchestrator, uh, which is actually a new component of uh, Vitesse. Vitesse has previously had what we call as planned failovers, which means that if you plan to deploy software or if a pod goes down and it gets an event, Vitesse automatically performs failovers where it uh, changes the current master and fails over and promotes another replica as the new master. Uh, but operating with us in that level won't give you this huge high availability that people get with it. Usually what they do for that is they integrate a new, another component called the orchestrator uh, authored by Shlomi Noach, which is a popular tool for MySQL. And with us works uh, as an external integration with that or orchestrator. What we have now done is uh, forked that, uh, that orchestrator and made it a core component of Vitex, which means that this new orchestrator called VT Orc uh, actually works hand in hand with the Vitex topology, can understand all those components, and therefore the integration is tighter and a lot smoother. Okay. So here I'm going to give you an example of that orchestrator and the things it can do. So I have a cluster here, which is a single, uh, which is an uncharted uh, key space. And in this key space, I have a master and uh, four replicas of which one is uh, not an eligible uh, master. And uh, now that I have, uh, now that um, I've also brought up the orchestrator, which is running, and the orchestrator also has the same view of the topology, except it actually has a better UI. Uh, you can see that it's now beautifully graphically rep uh, represented and shows how things are uh, connected. But the, what you can do here, for example, is I can go to Vitesse and say, do a planned reparent, which is failover from uh, the master from 100 to, let us say, 101. Okay? So I say, do a reparent. So as soon as you do a reparent, then uh, what um, Vitesse has done, it has performed the failover. But uh, as soon as it does a failover, the orchestrator notices that it has happened and adjusts itself, saying that, see, uh, now 111 is the new master. So they are both in agreement. But you could also go to the orchestrator and say, hey, you do the failover for me instead of asking VTCTLD to do it. And that can also happen. Like for example, I'll say promote 17101 as the master and the orchestrator is a nice drag and drop UI. You can say, hey, do you really want to make 101 the master? Yes, I want to make 101 the master and the orchestrator performs that act. And if you go look at the test, it actually should have updated itself to 101 and the orchestrator will soon refresh its screen to show that it is the case. But what can orchestrator do is if MySQL crashes underneath, it can actually detect it and proactively perform a failover. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring down 101 to show you, which is my, uh, my DOM 101. So as soon as I go down, you will see that this is a log of uh, the orchestrator after a few seconds, it will notice that uh, something is off and it says, okay, I'm going to perform some functions. These are, I'm, I'm running it in verbose mode. But if you refresh here, uh, 101 was the previous master. And now if you see, it says, hey, I have now promoted 100 as a master because 101 is down. What I can now do is go back and bring that 101. I'm still waiting for the shutdown to finish. And if you see here, I do the refresh you should see that 100 is now the master. Uh, 101 is actually down. If I click on the status, it'll say it is down. So now I'm going to bring back 101. And as soon as I bring up 101, I can go to orchestrator. It will say, hey, 101 is back up and it looks like everything is fine. I'm going to now point it back at the new master. So the way orchestrator works is it, work, it works in this thing called the desired state. Any component is not in the correct state, it goes and fixes it. So it makes this entire cluster self-healing, uh, even uh, even and but then it's beyond just looking at the state. It's also looking at whether something is able to serve traffic or not. Okay. Uh, this component of orchestrator will soon be available as a uh, operator component. Uh, so in the operator, there is actually this pull request which should be submitted by the time you see this video. Uh, if not, it is pull request number one thirty and you should be able to build off of this OC1 initial branch. And once it is there, you should be able to use the new Vitesse uh, operator to deploy this orchestrator. And there is a sample YAML that I've submitted here, which will, uh, there's a sample YAML, 
which is under uh, example, the under the operator example, but it's called orc cluster.yaml. And you can look at it to see uh, this section, which is the Vitesse orchestrator. And that should show you how to set up the orchestrator for your cluster. Thank you very much.